You're watching WBRC Morning News. Well, it's Soccer Sunday, and we're here to talk soccer uh, with Executive Director uh, Louis Smotherman uh, from Baton Rouge Soccer Club. How you doing, Louis? Doing great. Excellent. Thanks for coming by and chatting about soccer. You guys got a big weekend uh, finishing up, really, today. You got a lot of games with, uh, with that tournament, right? How is that going for you guys? It's been going great. You said uh, a few weeks ago that we'd have great weather, so we've been counting on it, and you brought it and delivered, so we appreciate that. <laughs> Well, I can't take all credit, but uh, I, I, you know, it, it was really beautiful. It's a great day, and it's starting to warm up too today as well. So, um, speaking of that, with the uh, the tournament out there, you guys also had a ribbon cutting ceremony yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning, nine o'clock, uh, uh, in partnership with Breck and Our Lady of the Lake, uh, Celebrity Theaters, MMR, and St. Joe's Academy. We put together about eight hundred fifty thousand dollars and uh, improved. The Burbank Soccer Complex a little bit, uh, adding a stadium field, a championship field, and some additional lighting to four fields. Oh, so that's awesome. So mm -hmm. what all, what all did that mean uh, in terms of just more, more uh, seating or lighting? What what all did that kind of go into? Well, we have a lot of schools out there. St. Joe's is one of them, but other schools, public schools that don't have a home field, and so now they can. And a lot of the schools use the Burbank Soccer Complex. So now they can play home games in a more of a championship field type atmosphere. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Under the lights. Under the lights. <laughs> and we improved all the lighting to LEDs too. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, I always remember playing under the lights. It's just a, it's totally different. It really is. It's a, a lot different um, uh, excitement, really. Um, well, speaking about under the lights, you guys have uh, recreational registration still up, right? That's coming that's closing up here soon though, right? Yes, uh, online registration is open until Tuesday. Uh, folks can still come into the office if they want to sign up. Uh, but with REC, we have three-year-olds, adults, um, academy, a lot of our programs stay open here for the next couple weeks. That's awesome. Yeah. So what uh, kind of age groups are we talking in terms of uh, recreational groups? What, how, what are the age ranges? Yeah, and recreational, we form teams at U6 all the way up through uh, U19, and then technically our adult programs um, are recreational for them too. Awesome, and now speaking of adults, what about those parents? Can they get involved in their kids' uh, rec teams or how do they go about that? Oh, absolutely. We have hundreds of recreational coaches. We always need more. We're gonna talk you into coaching a team <laughs> soon. But uh, rec, uh, Coaching, um, helping at the tournaments, field marshaling, refereeing. Um, there's plenty of ways to get involved. That's awesome. And they can go on your website, www.brsoccer.org. Uh, yes, sir. Is that right? I think I have a, we have a graphic maybe up uh, showing that website. Maybe not, but I'll... I'll, uh, we'll post it later on today if we, we're having some issues. But, hey, Louie, thanks so much for coming by and chatting about soccer with Thank us. You. We're going to definitely have you on out here uh, maybe next weekend if you're, if you're ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Louie. We'll be Thank right you. back with more WBRZ Morning News.